Welcome back, everyone. There is a reason why our next guest has hundreds of millions of readers. Here sharing her new bullet journal, Be a Blessing, is our good friend Debbie Maycumber, who brought along her grandson, Isaiah Lacombe, as well. Welcome, Welcome. both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Love to have you back on the show. Love that we have you on the show for the first time making an appearance on television. Yeah, it's with your first grandson. special appearance. Oh. Wow. Well, wow, you're we're doing happy such a great that you're job here. already. Great to be yes, here. Yes, yeah. You're doing great so far. You're doing great. Keep it up. Uh, Debbie, you got, you're blessed with 11 grandchildren in total. Yeah. What's your favorite part about being a grandmother? Oh, just, you know, having fun with them. Spending time with oh. them. I do grandma camp. I haven't in the last few years because, oh. yeah, I just I didn't want the grandkids to grow up and say I had a famous grandma, but I didn't really get to know her. So I take a week and I share my passions with them. We travel, we do things together. So just being, just having those grandkids. And then when I'm tired, sending them home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all grandparents yeah. say. My husband is so funny because once one time all the, all the kids were there and as they left, he we stood on the porch, waved goodbye, he closed the door and locked it. <laughs> and then until wow. next year. What are the, the difference in ages? Wow. Uh, 24 is the oldest, and the youngest is 19 months. Oh, my goodness, Good you. Debbie. Yes, you, yes, you yeah. certainly do. So, Isaiah, what, what would you say is one of your favorite stories about your grandma? Well, my grandma makes a lot of sacrifices for me. And every time we get together to have dinner, she makes my favorite food, her amazing potato salad. And it's little things like that which mean a lot to me. Just Potato salad, Debbie, you've never made that for us here. Yeah, well, it's a family recipe that is handed down from Secret. my dad. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Was it dad. in that, remember you brought my... us that recipe box last time? Is it yes. in there? Uh, oh, that's good memory, Debbie. Oh, oh, yeah. I think the German potato salad is. That was my mom's recipe. Okay, well, next time you come back, well, you know what, and Isaiah, you'll come back too, and we'll all do it in the kitchen together. <laughs> that's a segment. That's a yeah, great idea. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, I, I know your grandmother's been a big influence on you uh, since you were a very young man. You are, you are a young man, but I mean a very young man. Yeah, in fact, definitely. inspired you to help give back out there in the world since you were six years old. Tell us all about it, please. So every year on my birthday, instead of my grandma getting me a regular old present that I would forget about in a month, she would let me go through a World Visions catalog and give my sponsored children something special, whether it was a cow, a soccer ball, a mango tree. Right. And that's how she got me involved in World Vision from such a young age. That's yeah, and World Vision is a wonderful organization. Yeah. Cameron and I both also do that at Christmas time. As a matter of fact, this last Christmas, we gave everyone on the staff the gifts were from World Vision, so we gave families goats so they could that's have milk amazing. and things yeah. like that. Yes, exactly. And I know it is very important to you and something that's been very important to you. Thanks to you, Debbie. You okay. really got him hooked on this. And as a matter of fact, now you are focusing on bringing clean water to people in Rwanda. Why, why was this something that resonated with you? Well, I had went to World Vision's conference for all their donors, and at that conference I learned about the problems throughout the world and how they don't have clean water. But then I also found out the progress that they have and the change that it makes. Giving them clean water, not only does it save them from diseases which kill a thousand children under five every day, but it also every allows day. Uh, every day. A thousand children under five, under five years five. old. It's five. from dirty water, from uh, polluted water. But it, it also gives them a future because now they can get an education. It's allowing them to have a meaningful life. Yeah. Right. And you're doing something very special because you're raising money to yes. be able to bring them the clean water. Tell us about that. So I decided to come out with my campaign to raise $25,000 to bring a well to the country of Rwanda. So Good wonderful. And you, you found somebody, Good not one you. person, you found two yeah. people. Two, two families have decided to match every donation up to $25,000. Oh so when we hit that goal, it'll triple. So basically, it, it, it costs $25,000 for one well, yes. correct? So if you get, if, when you raise that, when, not if, when you raise yes, that money, when. two other anonymous donors are going to match that for you, so they will have three wells. Yes. You were really, I mean, to be I mean, that's that's cool. Come on. This, that's a Good like for you, young man. Way to go, I say. I mean, yeah. we're, we're proud of you. I can't yeah. imagine how proud you are <laughs> oh. of them. I mean, I, I think if I had buttons, they'd be bursting. Oh, <laughs> I bet, so I bet. True. It all started from you know you inspiring him like this, so that's got to be extra special for you. It is. Oh, it for really you. is. Good so, for you. Debbie, you've talked to us so many times about your many blessings, including Isaiah and your other ten grandchildren. So, could you um, tell us what inspired you to to release this new journal of blessings? It's really beautiful. Oh, thank you. Well, first of all, I have to tell you about the title, "Be a Blessing." When I started off in my career. I wanted I had a mission statement, 
And I started listing all the things that I wanted in my career. You know, I wanted to be on tour. I wanted a New York Times bestseller. I, all of these things. And I realized that I wasn't thinking about the readers. I was thinking about me. And so I decided to make my mission statement to be a blessing. I love that. And uh, journals are something I have done my entire life. In fact, my very first sale was in the eighth grade when my brother and two of my cousins made copies of my journal oh, no. and sold it to the boys in my class. What? <laughs> How did it do? Did you make any money? Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. They did. <laughs> <laughs> but it sold well. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you knew you had a future in writing. Did, you needed an agent to get a cut of the sales or something. You know, it's interesting because you know a lot of people journal and other people don't even know how to start to journal. And that's why I really like this bullet journal exactly because you right. help people. To you, to you guide them. Exactly. Yes. I, I'm, I'm just not really um, artistic. And so this journal is for people like me who aren't really artistic. And it has prompts and questions that will kind of guide you so that you too can be a blessing. And you and as you and there's places to color in there and and so as you color you can think through the answers on the prompts. It really is a beautiful so, book. So for people that may not be journaling out there, how can journaling help others, help everyone really uh, recognize the blessings in their own lives mm. as well? I think you you can't help but recognize it yeah. when you start looking at because the the journal is divided by all the things we really want in our life: joy, peace, patience, kindness. And so those are the attributes everybody is seeking in their lives. And so that's how the journal is divided. It really is beautiful. We were yeah. looking at it earlier today, all of all the girls in the makeup room. We just love it. And we love you, Debbie Makes. Oh, yeah. I love you too. You guys, you guys are so special. Thank you. We love Thank when you're right. busy. We love when you bring family yeah, members as well. Like Keep that happening, it's everybody. It's national appearance. Yes. Yeah, 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 that's right. right. Woo, it's here for Isaiah. <laughs> Be a Blessing is available now. And for more information on how you can help Isaiah reach his goal, go to worldvision.org backslash Isaiah. Debbie and I already did. We already donated.